Erivale is a Kerr 39, sailed by Mike Greville, Commodore of the Rort, and his regular crew. The race will take us out west through Hurst and through the Needles on a course of 213. We then go down past Guernsey. We should be arriving at Guernsey circa 3 o'clock in the morning, past Guernsey on a course down to St Malo. That's their one minute. Uh, just out of interest, what for? Uh, main Halyard. Uh, okay, right. That, that's my like, guy. Yeah. We have the number two off today. 25 to the gun, start coming up to the line. That's it, let's go, let's go for it. Ace, ace. And we're racing, guys. We sailed westwards down the Solent, tacking through the fleet of some 90 plus boats into a 20 knot southwesterly breeze. After passing the needles, we continued beating westward into now 25 knots of breeze and steep seas. So the question we're looking at now is when to tack, whether to uh, stay on starboard and get the last of the west going tide and a lee bow for the next half an hour, or just to go for it and stay on port now and start heading off to St Albans. You only do it if you uh, sail with people you enjoy sailing with, and Mike's got a great bunch on this boat. Oh, it's wet and the cold really. And playing a bit of chess on the water and sort of getting there. But I don't really think that I'll be doing another 20 years of this. We're now heading towards Anvil Point. Uh, we've decided on the, uh, the latter of the two choices, which is go down to La Anvil Point. We'll be putting a tack in at Anvil Point, going out and then tacking again for St Albans and then we'll be putting one, one tack in over to, uh, to Les Amois. So how do you allow yourself to be cast as the galley wench? <laughs> Doesn't bother me being down below when the weather's too bad. So I don't mind doing this. Uh, that's it, kettle on. Wait a while. Well, it was nice and sunny this afternoon. It's got grayer and grayer, and now it's raining, and it's been raining for the last two or three hours, and it's a bit miserable. But we're going fast in the right direction, so that makes July, we deserve a bit better. Well, after we went around this animal, we bore away and we sailed uh, to start with with the number three jib uh, on the outside sheet lead, but then we decided that we could carry the jib top. We headed south from Guernsey, enjoying a fun 50 mile reach, keeping our close competition well behind us, and at times touching a maximum speed of 17 knots. Okay, start hoisting now. The guy's tight, the guy is tight. Let the green one go, Patrick. We now weaved through the numerous marks and boys along the approach channel to St Marlow and the finish. Uh, the finish is actually in the harbour on a transit between the end of the mole and out to a, uh, a buoy which we leave the port. Here we go. 8.24 and 35 seconds.